I gotta have virtually all my weight on my right, and I'm gonna feel setting that angle, and I'm gonna feel this. So I'm gonna get to the high point. Everybody, it's Coach Johnson. We're back and now we're going to go into stand throws. And remember, now we've just gone through the progression really on how we really put together a dynamic stand throw, what we're doing and really working that power position to create a ton of force. We're really thinking about, again, you notice the one, two, three, four sequence, setting up the chain reaction. We're really always focused on maximizing the radius and the orbit. Those two things play a really critical role in your ability to throw. It sets up the lower body, again, to be able to move through the proper range of motion. Remember, now we're going to look at our pillar five and six drills so we're going to notice that we're going to have this foot about 10 o'clock 10 30 and this one again is going to be about seven notice what happens when i do that i have my hips facing here really about eight o'clock and so yeah 7 38 o'clock right in this range so what i'm going to do is set the angle and i'm going to be making sure i feel that counterbalance okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our tcr drill band remember you can find these in the store on our site so here's going to be the thing again real simple what we want to do is we want to set the alignment we're going to get our feet position and in the set up in the right position we're going to set the orbit when we feel the band the band automatically is forcing this length you see how I have this length out here I want to keep the band stretch then I block then I pull here I want to stretch it this way so I'm gonna feel stretch short and stretch right we're gonna throw and we're gonna combine all of our elements and so we're gonna to put together a nice stand throw okay so we're gonna be here and I'm gonna throw directly to six this time and so you're gonna see me I'm gonna set everything here so I've got a couple ways I can go dynamic which I'm gonna do one two right three four you're gonna see me up here and you're gonna notice that my knee moves I don't get a ton of this I gotta have virtually all my weight on my right and I'm gonna feel setting that angle and I'm gonna feel this so I'm gonna get to the high point and I'm gonna be out here and I pulled around a little bit because I'm an old guy okay but you're gonna notice that I maintained pretty good ground position with my right leg. Now you're really just thinking about your high point. You're feeling the heel up, push and twist, and you're feeling now the block leg because we just worked the block. Well, now we're gonna feel that block leg extension and keeping it on the ground so we're feeling this. We're gonna do a reverse. I'm gonna hit that high point. I'm gonna be here. And you're gonna see me kind of moving it there. All right, so the idea here is you wanna be able to see how we're setting that high point. I'm coming into that block and I'm coming and I'm trying to turn through. I'll have to watch the video to make sure it was as good as I think it was, but you get the general idea. If an old guy that's 50 years old can do it, you should be able to do it a lot better and work to do it a lot better. So the last thing that we're gonna be on is if you have a hard time with the one two three four which is dynamic we're gonna go to a static wind and we're gonna be here and what you're gonna do is see me wind like this and so you notice that that helps me set the angle I've got the stack this way right so you notice what I've done is I'm never just bending over my hip and my chest move as a unit there's that center of mass moving together so what I'll do is I'll wind up to the high point and I'll stretch right you're gonna see me stretch and then you're gonna see me come around long and come through the throat again I'm getting old that was my two kilo discus feels heavy because I'm an old weak guy now but you could see the point is I'm trying to come long here so I can come in and throw. I didn't rotate my hip all the way, so there was no twist. So this is a perfect example. Hey, if you were doing this and you notice no twist, what do you do? Heel up, push, twist. Okay guys, so thanks so much. Stop that video, finish up your throws, and we'll see you on the live training.